what's up guys in this video I'm going to show you how to overclock the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch so go to the control panel that's next to your notification go to settings scroll down to performance if you have Cyanogen mod it should be there and you have to press OK and then press processor press the maximum CPU frequency and there you'll be prompted with couple options there's 1200 megahertz which it should be there and then you can change it to 1500 megahertz there is no option for 1.3 gigahertz 1.4 gigahertz so you have to overclock it to 1.5 gigahertz but you could also down clock it so there is couple options 350 megahertz 700 megahertz 920 megahertz and then 1.2 and 1.5 so I have benchmarked cup with couple software pretty much every software that I know of to benchmark with in Android so let's get started the first one is Sun Spider that's kind of like a Java script it's b useful in uh, web browsing so without the overclock you get a score of 1334.8 millisecond with the overclock 1079.6 that's a huge improvement next Lintech without the overclock 46.755 on the single core 50.274 on the multi-core with overclock you get 56.488 on the single core and 59.36 on the multi-core next GL benchmark 2.5 I chose 2.5 because that's the most useful and most people of most people benchmark with that so I chose that one on screen 7.2 off screen 9.6 with the overclock it's on screen 7.3 off screen 10 so you don't really get a huge improvement if you overclock the po processor in terms of gaming next on to new that's a pretty old benchmark but uh, without the overclock you get one I mean 10,875 and with the overclock is 12,413 there is a huge improvement it's almost 20% Next, it's a gaming benchmark. It's called Pre D Mark Istrom. This one, ov uh, this one is benchmarking at 722. So without the overclock, you get 2,261. With the overclock, 2,318. Next, the most popular benchmark of all, Geekbench 3, the new one that just came out. Without the overclock, single core 351. With multi-core 650 and with the overclock it's single core 430 multi-core 802 so there is a huge improvement in Geekbench because it's heavily CPU related so that's pretty much all thank you for watching